we now plunge into another world, the world of fragrances and their designer. For this, we head to Paris, Boulevard Raspail, to pass through the gates of the Fondation Cartier for a meeting that will leave an impression on our olfactory memory. It is on these premises, a dense and unexpected artistic hotbed, be it in architecture, sculpture, painting, photography, or even art installation, she has her office, where she makes her creations. Perfect for an artist of fragrance, as she is often called, because designing a perfume calls for much artistic research. She being Mathilde Laurent, the nose of Cartier. The little miracles of fragrance and other little luxuries that underpin our personalities are down to her. The daily gesture and the little pleasure that ease us through the day and the hours. Les heures de parfum, being the name of this collection of haute parfumerie, to be precise, favoring the senses and matters of extreme sophistication and creating a very private turbulence. Aujourd'hui, il y a peu de maisons de parfum qui veulent vraiment Today, very few perfume houses want to truly devote themselves to the creation of perfumes and who really want the fragrances they launch to be worthy of their name. That's really the essence of Cartier, to make a perfume that is truly worthy of everything made by the brand, fine jewellery, watches. So that's really what we propose, a very stylish perfume, true Cartier style in a bottle, which is unlike any other, and that is really a very much sought after creative quality. Dans un flacon et qui ne ressemble à aucune autre et qui est vraiment d'une qualité créative très très recherchée. Les Heures pay homage to distant lands in their new versions, poetically called Les Heures Voyageuses. Six fragrances dedicated to old wood, with its woody, musky notes and all the evocative power recalling the mysteries of the East and stimulating the senses and the imagination. On a toujours quartier libre et en même temps jamais. We always have free time and at the same time never. That is, a brief or context is always real and a perfume is something completely other than reality. I feel very free. Somehow when I know I'm going to work on a new story in the house of Cartier, it's my emotion. It's my sensitivity that will express this story via fragrance. So here I have total freedom because they are truly my emotions, my expertise. So I do it by myself with pleasure. Then inevitably, I get a brief that is much more precise, but leaves me a freedom in how I interpret it. It is precisely this pride, this stringency, this high level of creation. I really have to live up to the level of excellence that Cartier demands of me. Il faut vraiment correspondre à ces niveaux d'excellence que propose la maison. Here, Mathilde Laurent has chosen to explore rose and sandalwood, jasmine and ginger, and all the mythical ingredients of Oriental culture. An original approach based on record concentrations of raw materials. To highlight its different fragrances, the creation of Oud Absolu, which is even more concentrated, multiplies sensation when combined with the Heure Voyageuse. The feminine perfume that has demonstrated the talent of Mathilde Laurent to the public must undoubtedly be La Panthère de Cartier, defined by the House of Cartier as a floral fawn born of the combination of bright and delicate gardenia with the sensual notes of musk. My initial emotion for La Panthère de Cartier was femininity and womanhood. It wasn't an emotion, it was many things, because with La Panthère there is simultaneously an animal, a woman, and a house. The woman is Jean Toussaint, who was the artistic director of the House of Cartier. The house is this great house of Cartier with its history, all its boldness, its style, and then there's also the animal in its true sense, how this very pure animality can be represented, how it can be made into a fragrance. 
pour encore essayer de mieux comprendre, de mieux... I actually use the work I do with the perfumes to try to better understand myself, to integrate myself into the house. Because the role of house perfumer, there are very few houses that have a perfumer who creates solely for themselves and themselves alone. The perfumer is really to be able to make manifest and perfume the house they work for. And this may seem obvious, but in fact, you can look for them on the market, fragrances that really show the style of the house they represent. You can search on the market des parfums qui montrent vraiment le style de la maison qu'ils représentent. Two new editions, La Panthère Noire Absolue and La Panthère Edition Soir, may be enchanted by this fragrance destined to enter the Cartier legend. Again, Oud Wood transcends this characteristic perfume, giving even more sensuality to the Noir Absolu version and leaving a strange and mysterious wake. With the evening version of La Panthère, it is the sparkling gardenia created by Mathilde Laurent which gives it a whole new dimension and which aims to be the reflection in fragrance of a radiant femininity electrifying the evening. Perfumes born to reveal our feline side because according to Matilda, every woman has a feline side and every flower hides a trace of the animal in its heart. People often ask me if I have favorite ingredients, families or favorite perfumes. In some way, I don't know because I am wary. So I try not to know what I prefer, what I like, because that's the best way to be redundant with regard to what has been already done and to be redundant in a market which is already redundant. When I'm about to tell a new story for the house, I always try to keep a blank canvas, in fact, and allow myself to be guided by its history, by what it means, by the way it should be treated, and to allow myself to be inspired by ingredients I have never used before. Me laisser inspirer des ingrédients justement avec lesquels j'ai plutôt jamais travaillé. With Envol de Cartier, we find a masculine aspect to the fragrance. A unique, oriental, transparent character in an eau de parfum of contrasting notes. A masculine scent that takes you off the beaten track, distilling notes of honey and guayac wood, wispy musk and patchouli. A woody fragrance perhaps, but demonstrating light, iridescence and airiness. And the originality of the flask is intriguing. Le parfum. The perfume I'm working on is dear to me and one I hold dear. The notion of a favourite doesn't really exist. I don't have a favourite. And even when I work on a perfume, it's the one I hold dear that excites me the most, that motivates me. But I don't prefer it for that reason. And there really isn't a favourite because if there was, it means I have put in a little bit of me a bit more of myself and more of my tastes, which is not what I want to do. In her office at the Cartier Foundation, inspiration is everywhere. In the phrases she writes in marker pen on the walls and in the hundreds of bottles in her laboratory. Dans une maison comme Cartier, chaque parfum et chaque développement with a house like Cartier, each perfume and each perfume development is an adventure because there are so many unknowns. A lot of research. We really do a fundamental research in perfumery. We know we start with a story, but we don't know how we're going to tell it or how many chapters there will be. We don't know how many times we'll change our minds or how many times we'll burst with joy. We don't know how many forks in the road or U-turns we'll need to deal with. So there's a huge part of that that is unknown. That is what will determine each perfume I like in such a way or another. I love it for the adventure. Adventures which are often difficult, during which complications multiply, and upon which we embark like a writer faced with a blank page. Surtout chez Cartier, parce que c'est vrai que comme on veut absolument créer. Especially at Cartier, because we really want to create. We absolutely don't want to be inspired by anything that's already been done, and we absolutely do want to work on new stories, new ingredients. You could say the page is totally blank, and sometimes I say, 
there isn't even a page. There's real fear in the beginning when there's nothing. Bit by bit we begin to combine things and then it begins to form and we can follow and build it some more. But there really is a fear of a blank page. What we particularly remember about Mathilde Laurent, apart from these little masterpieces of fragrance, is a method of creating perfume with a modern and entirely personal vision, beyond all conventions, with reflection and a sincere approach, far from the occasionally clumsy and stereotyped language of marketing which the great houses of luxury use and abuse. The sum and the substance of the art of perfume.